Hey guys, what's up? Naruto Chapter 684 Review. Now, before I get started, I want to apologize sincerely. Alpha Alpha. Alpha Alpha. I got, I got me an Alpha Alpha. I'm sorry, if it annoys you, then I will gladly go bald. Pew. Ah, the Alpha Alpha. I'll just go to, just go at this man. Okay, get that out of the way. Um, this chapter was very simple. I mean, very, very simple. Insanely simple. Like, this took me a couple minutes to read. Not saying that it was a bad chapter, but it's been like the chapters that we've been getting for the past two weeks where they've just been extremely simple. Um, now this chapter of Naruto, it, it's mainly a fighting chapter. Um, there are some convenient parts here and there, and I mean seriously convenient parts, but y you know what? Oh, okay, alright. Kishi. Dude, okay. So, it just mainly starts off with, I don't know, Naruto still being stuck in those icicles, and the Five Tails lends Naruto power to just get him out of the icicles, and Kurama lends him some chakra as well. So it's cool to see Naruto coordinate with all the tail beasts. And he just what was really nostalgic. And that's what's mainly the better part of the Naruto chapters. Not just recently, but for a while now. It's just the nostalgic techniques like Kagebushin. You know, Shadow Clone Jutsu. The way he just... In the beginning of the series, remember where he created all those shadow clones? And it was really nostalgic in that sense to see all of those shadow clones. And also the Uzu Maki Barash. Like, that was, that was cool as well. Like, I got a little chuckle out of that, you know? Because I remember the good old days of Naruto. Oh, I remember the good old days of Naruto when it wasn't so... Mm, you, you, okay. <laughs> Um, so they go to the other dimension, and when I say convenient, I mean seriously convenient, because apparently they go to the core dimension. At first I, at first I thought it was the desert dimension where, um, Sasuke was before, and I was thinking to myself, Kishi, come on, that's just way too convenient. But apparently that's not the dimension, apparently that is the core dimension, so I'm guessing you could get to any other dimension from that, hence the name Core Dimension. Apparently, there's only five dimensions. So the Lava, Ice, Desert, Core Dimension, and then Real World. Eh. That's kind of a letdown, because there were, like, many possibilities for the dimensions. But, only five? Wow. And whatever. We still need to lo bleh, we still need to know about that limbo world. That Madara, that Madara, I can't even fucking speak! <laughs> we still need to know about that limbo world Madara was talking about a while back. Kishi does the, uh, whatever. <laughs> He just doesn't care at this point, man. He just wants to say, okay, let me finish this series so I can take a long rest, man. Okay. And Kagi is talking in this chapter, which is good in a sense, but Black Zetsu, this motherfucker, is still barking out orders. Why? Why is he still talking? I wouldn't be surprised if Kaguya somehow kills Black Zetsu, I mean, it'd be kind of awkward at this point in time, just... me. Eh. No mother, why? But, he's barking out orders because he keeps saying that they need to kill Naruto and Sasuke, because Naruto being in the core dimension is way too convenient for Naruto, of course, because he could just meet up with Sasuke. And they could seal Kaguya. But Kaguya is saying that, No! We shouldn't kill them! Because we need their chakra! 
And Black Tattoo is just like, No, mother. We gotta kill them. They're a nuisance. And Akagi says, Alright, let's go. How fickle can you be? Why are you listening to Black Zetsu? You're your own person. Although, Kaguya as a villain at this point in time isn't really all that appealing. But, just follow your own mindset. Jesus Christ, dude. Just why is Black... It's so annoying. Why is Black Zetsu still talking? Like, holy shit, dude. He should not even be there. He should just be merged with Kaguya at this with Kaguya at this point. And should just be Kaguya, not Black Zetsu. Jesus Christ. But I remember a while back I said, hmm, maybe Kaguya is the originator of the Kaguya clan. Cause and now I think that's a definite possibility, although I don't think Kishimoto is going to explain it because he hasn't explained Sasuke's Sharingan fully yet. He uh, uh, he hasn't explained the Limbo world. He hasn't explained how Naru Jesus can't heal Obito when he had the perfect opportunity to. When he had the perfect opportunity to, he hasn't explained how Naruto can just regrow eyes and limbs and whatnot, so him explaining how Kaguya can do all this bone stuff like a Kimi Mar like how Kimi Mar could, that's probably not gonna happen because he probably just wants to get this series over with. It's either she's the originator of the Kaguya clan or she's the originator of just every clan. Which would be pretty lame. Cause wow, everything stems to Kaguya. God damn it. So what? When I'm watching or reading part one again, I always have to think about Kaguya. Like, fuck no. But still, she's probably the originator. I mean, we can assume that, but Kishimoto is probably not going to explain. So it's called like suicidal ash bones or something. Cause it was cool the way she was using it. Cause she opens up a dimension, throws a bone through it that distracts Naruto. And the bone goes right through him and opens a huge hole in him, like in his abdomen. And would it, would it be funny? Like, I was just imagining Naruto screaming, Ah, my dick! It got off my dick! Oh, wait. I don't have one! Like, that'd be pretty funny, funny. Because, I mean, it's Naruto. But just that gave me some shock value for a brief moment. Because just, well, dude, Naruto's got a hole and it's just, what? He's gonna die? Oh, it's a clone. Duh. Duh. Freaking duh, it's a clone. Naruto's not gonna die. It'd be a twist, but he's not gonna die. And, I don't know, truth be told, it's a clone. Because she goes back and all the clones are there. And I'm guessing the clone was just hiding with the other clones, because I guess just... Because I think, like, a couple other clones went with the other Naruto clone to that dimension, and Black Zetsu says that they didn't have enough chakra to sustain themselves from dimension hopping, but then how could that clone have enough chakra to go through? I mean, who knows, maybe um, Karama gave that clone more chakra to sustain himself through dimension hopping? But, what was the point of that? If you really think about it, like, there was no real point to that. And I find it really, and another convenient thing, I found it really convenient how Kaguya did not have her Byakugan activated, so she didn't know that that Naruto was a clone. Because when I was reading it, it didn't make sense to me, because I remember Madara, like, way back, noticing when he came to assist Obito against, you know, Naruto, Killer B, Kakashi guy, you know, all those guys, how he noticed that that clone of 
that that was a clone of Naruto, like right off the bat. But then, how come Kaguya couldn't notice that? But oh, truth be told, she never Byakugan activated, which is wow, that's way too convenient, dude. And I, I don't know, man. It's just way too convenient for me. And I guess Black Zetsu and oh wait, no, fucking Black Zetsu. Where did that come? Okay, Obito and Sakura, they're of course they're in the core dimension and they're gonna get Sasuke, Sasuke, Sasuke back. And again, it's convenient, they're in the core dimension. And many people have been saying this, who knows, maybe that core dimension might have a palace there as well to serve as the core to go to different dimensions, because I mean I don't see how else they could like go anywhere. Unless there's literally a like a random portal just staying there, or who knows, but they're gonna get Sasuke back and they're going to save the ninja world. Okay, this chapter, it was okay, it was like the past chapters that we've been getting, how they've just, they've really been simple, I know, I was expecting this review to be like five minutes long, but as you know me, I keep rambling, on just one thing for like five minutes, so whatever. All right. Okay, chapter. I guess Kishimoto, please just explain some stuff, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.